Let's show you what we mean and what could happen. We'll return to where they walk into the phone shop and wanting to buy a recharge for her phone. Hey, here's the phone shop. These phones, they look heaps better than your old one. Yeah, they look deadly, but I just want to recharge. No, I want me one of these. Look, plays movies. Can I help? Uh, yeah, I'd like a recharge for my phone, please. What value card? $20. We have special package plans at the moment that only cost $20 a month. Uh, I'd just like a prepaid recharge, thanks. I don't want a plan. Um... How many of these recharge cards would you go through in a month? Oh, this is our second one since we've been here. Yeah, that's because you keep using my phone to ring home. Got to keep in touch. Well, get your own phone. Why do I need one? You've got one. Yeah, and I'm happy with it. I just want to recharge, thanks. For the same cost as this, you could get a new phone and $100 worth of free calls. More in some cases. That would really keep you in touch with home. Can she get one of these deadly phones? There is a deal that uh, gives her that phone. As I said, the deal started the same cost that you're paying for recharges. Which is all I want. Okay, just so you know, it's the same cost. It's a special deal we have going on at present. And how long is the contract? 24 months. That's $480 for basics. I bet there's extras. If you want extras. It's not that much, sis. It's more than I've got. I don't have a job and I don't want to sign any contract. You do get a new phone, though, and $100 worth of phone calls. $100 worth of calls, and it's the same cost, sis. And besides, look at this phone. You've got movies, camera, emails. That phone is on our under-25s deal, made specially for young people. Deadly. So it's $25, then? No, 25 is the target age range. The plan costs $39.95 a month. Twice the amount? Less than $10 a week. For that, you get $150 worth of phone calls and all the added extras. And there's a camera in there, too, so you're getting a phone and a camera. For the cost of two recharges. Only $25? $40. If you like it, then you get it. It is a nice deal. Look, you want to sell her the phone, then sell her the phone. I just want to recharge, so sell me that. If you don't, I can just go up the street to the newsagents of the supermarket and they'll sell me the card without the sales pitch. Fine. That'll be $20 then. What about you? You interested in this phone? Nah. I've got no money. And besides, she's got a phone. I'll just use hers. So things went differently. Joanne got what she wanted, a recharge. The salesman still tried to get her to sign up for a plan, but Joanne considered what the cost was going to be and whether she could afford it. She asked the right questions. Asked the questions she wanted to ask. Joanne didn't allow herself to be bullied or seduced into signing something she didn't want to. But Joan was still tempted by that flashy phone and the special under-25 plan. What if she had have said yes? What should she have done then? Read the contract before signing. Ask for a map with reception areas to be sure she received reception back home in Palamalawar. What other questions might she have asked? You could be Joanne and act out those scenarios if you wish. But it wasn't just the salesman Joanne had to deal with. Lyndon doesn't help Joanne much in this story. She's not mean or uncaring. She just doesn't think past the here and now or herself and, well, herself. <laughs> she wasn't even listening to the real cost of things. Handling relations can be just as hard and sometimes more difficult than salesmen. Let's see what she could do about that. How about when they are on the bus and Lyndon has the phone and signs her up to the mobile service contracts? Just with the press of a button. You finished playing with that yet? You'll kill the battery. Oh, this basketball game is deadly. Hey, you got a message. I'm offering you some more stuff. Give it here, let me look. No, I'm saying you want the crazy from ringtone. No, do not press that button. It's only $4. Give it here, it's not your phone. Too late, my finger slipped. Better not have, or you're never touching this again. Only gammon? Go and get it. I'll get it for you. Buy it on your own phone. No, I don't have my own phone. Yeah, and that's why you always use mine. Well, let me use it. We're cousins. Don't go uptown on me. you got to share. Okay, but no buying anything on it. I don't want you to waste all my credit. Nor do you. You'll want to call Arnie again in another five minutes. She misses me and wants to know I'm all right. 
No, she wants a bit of peace and quiet and for you to stop hassling her. Don't be slack, sis. Arnie loves me. Yeah, so do I. But you got to think of others sometimes, eh? I do think of others. Think of them all the time. That's why I call them. And then you use up all the credit and then you can't call them when you need to talk for real. You're cruel. No, I'm not. I'm just saying. You got to think ahead sometimes and you don't always do that. Like, never. Cruel. I'm just saying, sis. Let's keep the calls for when it's important. <sighs> hey, how you going on that basketball game? You winning? Ten points ahead of you. Bet I can do better than that. No way! I'll show you. Joanne made sure that this time Lyndon did not sign her up for anything she did not want. Joanne understood it was her phone and she would be responsible. She stood her ground with Lyndon even when Lyndon tried to shame her. In the end, she made Lyndon realise there are consequences to actions, and they're still friends. Now you have seen Joanne handle some of these scenes differently, you can try. There are some ideas for simple acting out role plays you can do in the accompanying notes with this DVD. Things like Joanne deciding to sign up for the plan, but not being rushed into it and wanting to read and understand the contract before she does. Phoning up the phone company when she realises she doesn't get reception. What she could do when the first bills come in, even different things she could do to get a loan with a bad credit rating. Just always remember, what you decide and do now will have a consequence in the future, and you want the best outcome. the money you know it ain't right she said it's got six months and interest free i'll help you pay in just to you and me she fluttered her eyes and with that smile i took the pen and signed the dotted line six months later and she left me and now i'm in debt and in misery Now a brand new phone with a color TV He said sign the dotted line and you'll see Just pay 80 bucks a month for two long years I thought I can do this so easily And two months later the phone breaks down I didn't pay the bills I kept coming around One year later at the bank for a loan You got bad credit rating from my mobile phone When I signed the dotted line I didn't see if it breaks on you, you still pay the fee uh -huh. Now something for nothing might sound free But that's something for nothing Want something from you and me 